Today video I am going to show you how you can make a core wall and provide the reinforcement on it. So just uh, here I am in a new model. I will go to wall, double click and I will see this is the property of the wall. I will just change this one cast in place. Then I will just draw one wall here. And I will draw another wall here. This is no problem. I just overlap this one. Okay, so I have this core wall. Now I will go to provide the reinforcement for this. So here I will move to the concrete tab, here rebar. I will go to choose rebar shape catalog. And here I need to choose L bar. So L bar I have This 200 thick, so I have 150 L, and this is this value. This is 3.3 meter, so I can choose one meter extra. So this is bar 600. If I put this 16 dia, 800, 3.3. This is forty one hundred. No, this five meter. Okay. So I'll give the five meter and then I will go to provide the new bar here. If I'll just hover over there, see how it's going to create the bar. So I'll go down. And then I'll provide here. If I'll do wireframe, then I can see So this is 16 dia and the spacing is okay I will keep 200 spacing then I will go to the plan okay. I will make the same for this side also the same 11 number Then I'll create this one. This is, I think, properties accidentally changed. It's showing that 1641 dia. This is not okay. So I just modify this one. I'll go to plan and then I will just to mirror it, copy a special and mirror then I will mirror from the center and copy copy a special mirror you can see it's copied I will do same here. Copy a special meter from here to here. And copy. So 
so it's like this now here I will show you how you can make view on the, all the grids so I will just say you just select this one right click and you can go to the create view along and then you can create so you can see in the view panel all the levels and section is created with the access of the level and grid this all the view created as per level and grids so now I have to move on the B grid so I will just double click and I can move there here I have to just modify I'll, it's not showing any reinforcement here so I'll double click I'll go to display and I can check here reinforcement bar is unchecked so I'll check and then it's showing there now what I have to do if inner bar is I will just make this is dia 16 so I will move this one move a special I'll just select this alt and then I will move a special then I will move this one down around 750 okay and then move so the my next level bar one bar will come here and then another bar lap will come here so this we call a staggered vertical in the core wall when we are making the core wall so we have joined with the staggered I mean this will be vertically not on the same location so outer face rebar will be at the different location and inner face uh, vertical bar lap will be on the different location so once you will see the design of your structural um, I mean, uh, design it will show the clear detail this is required a staggered vertical river required a staggered for the core wall or this is a lapping normal lapping so if required a staggered you have to do like this so we lower it 750 then I will do same for other side for this side so I will go to the grid one and then again I have to go to check this rebar modify close and then outer bar also I will lower it alt and control move a special linear it's already 750 so I can save so I will lower it So now you can see this you have internal and external bar this is showing 150 spacing 200 spacing this is 200 this is 200 and this one also 200 spacing okay. so I have the bar with a staggered lap this is extra bar for next level already I explained so this is the joint it will come like this or I think it's reverse okay and if I will go to again grid 1 just click I will change this one I will just move linear this will I move 750 up move and then this one for here I will select this one 
I will select and then I will do it lower minus okay. so I think now it will match both side inside the lower and outside is higher ok now one more thing I have to do here I will go to plan view control P plan and control 1 in the wire mesh mode here I will go to just trace the one reference line construction and line and then I will draw one line here then another line here I just copy a special copy linear and then I will give x0 and uh, this is y axis minus 1 meter copy this is I am doing I am going to provide the u bar at the joint so this is x x minus 1 meter and copy so I will move again to the concrete tab and then I will choose this bar then I will select this one I will start drawing the U bar. So again, I will concrete tab. Don't want to choose this nearest. Okay, here, here, and here. Then I will click middle mouse. Once my sketch is completed, then I will give from start to end. So here my U bar is generated. Now I will just go to modify the spacing. This is dia dia 16. I will give dia 12. And then I will go here. And then from plan and give 50. And then here to so both side spacing is 50-50 so here you can see this is the u bar 1 meter long yeah, this is spacing if you need to make it shorter you can move a special linear because this is just I think 12 12 dia we came out. so 12 into 50 I think this 600 is okay yeah, we can give uh, minus uh, 250 okay so this is looking good now I'll go to copy a special and then use mirror now I am going to select this point to this point the corner for this one I will go to select this and then I will copy to this side also you are generated Here I will go to just change this one red so now my core wall is reinforcement is finished so like this you can uh, one more thing horizontal bar I didn't provide any so I will go again in the rebar and then uh, rebar cutler I will go to choose the straight bar and this is uh, 16 dia apply ok and then I will go to press this here horizontal bar and here other here 
I'll go to plan and then I can copy a special mirror copy I'll just copy this one copy a special this is 200 and then this one is like blue modify this one going like this get two hundred modify blue copy a special mirror from here to here again copy and then this one copy copy special mirror from here to here and then copy so now this is the last thing i missed that one now it's okay uh, Fifty, fifty, because both parties overlapping, so you can arrange okay, just overlapping here. Control this one. So fifty. So now I have vertical bar and horizontal bar with corner join U bar. Even here if you need this horizontal bar, you can make it L 90 degree. And modify here custom 90 degree this is going to be 100 and then this one also you can give custom 90 degree and then this will be 100 and then this is 24 25 okay so like this you can give any Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.